Hi guys, my name is Meads. This is going to be a review for the Invader Drone Spitter as well as the Converter Top made by John Adrian of MPF Designs. And I actually just got the Converter Top as well as Stainless Steel uh, today, but the Brass and the Tungsten Copper I already have uh, for quite some time and I really enjoy them. So this is actually quite curious because this can turn any one uh, R1 and 8 uh, bearing spinner into a top. Uh, as long as that it can hold a uh, 22 millimeter uh, bottom caps. So uh, this is perfect for the Infinity Drone. And it uses a, I believe as he puts in in his uh, notes, silicon nitride ball for the contact point of the top. And he makes this on different materials. Bronze is one of them. There's also stainless steel. Yeah, so this is quite nice. And let's go ahead and try it for a spin. Not really good at spinning this, and I'm using just a, a plastic lid. <laughs> All right, and uh, here's the brass, really nice. I flamed the stainless steel caps, got that nice, uh, kind of like a uh, bronze or metallic orange. I really like how that turned out. Yeah, really nice spinner. And hence the name Inverter Drone, it's kind of like a UFO. He has some inspiration on that one. Really nice. He got three slots, total of six, three on each side. And just in terms of uh, fidgeting, it's really great. You can use your middle finger back and forth, your ring, your pinky, your index. Just, it's a really nice uh, fidgeter. And you got this awesome uh, 20, I think it's a 22 or 23, maybe a little bigger. But uh, they're flat, but there's steps on them, and it offers a nice grip. I like uh, bigger caps, and it's just really nice. And the caps does come in different metals, but at this time of posting, posting this review, um, I believe they're sold out. So you might have to wait uh, for the next wave, as he calls it. And I think the latest one's wave 4, there might be a wave 5, we'll see. But uh, definitely worth getting, even if you get in a second market, secondary market. But just hope that you're paying your retail. Don't pay too much. <laughs> you never know. You may get released again. Here's the stainless steel. Quite nice. Very great. I like how uh, the machining marks on it. Very awesome. Now let's take a look inside. Now I think for most of them, or especially the recent one, it's using uh, FC Essentials SBV2s, which is the stainless steel balls with a uh, nylon cage. And they offer a really nice uh, smooth spin with a very subtle feedback, which a lot of people like, even myself. And I actually bought a lot of them <laughs> for spares. Yeah, they're great, uh, great bearings for spinners. So here's the stainless steel, very great, I like it a lot. And in terms of jotter, as you change the axes, you can still kind of feel it a little bit. But yeah, quite nice. Now here comes the tungsten copper. <clears throat> now this one is a, a bit hefty, you know, hence the name of, you know, being tungsten. Uh, still stainless steel caps. Uh, it would be cool if he offered a uh, tungsten copper caps, but that's going to be quite expensive. Especially how that is machined. And if you look inside, you can see the copper color. Because right now, he got that grayish color. Which I, I, f I find in most tungsten copper. Uh, it's kind of like that. And you kind of see the color of uh, copper there. If it's full tungsten, uh, it's kind of like stainless steel in terms of color. But yeah, quite nice. Now I'm not really gonna go over the spin time on this. Uh, they spin quite well. I would say probably at least two minutes or more. Probably you can reach four minutes out of the the greater drone. They're really great uh, spinner, and it really depends on what bearing you have on it. Yeah, quite nice. Now for this particular shape, uh, it's it is triangular, and a lot of people have been comparing this with other similar shaped, uh, most notably the. Post blades cocoon. 
I did change the caps on this one. This is by Average Machinist. This is a, I believe, brass knife scale, as he calls it. And I think it works quite well for this bronze cocoon. I'm lucky enough to get this, but they are really sought after. And stocks, the stock on them are very limited. That's the one thing that makes them quite uh, sought after. Uh, next up is Rondell. It's another triangular shaped. This is, I think, brushed. This uh, brushed stainless steel. Another great uh, triangular spinner. I like it a lot. As well as the Proxima. Another great one. I think this might be titanium. Yep. I've been getting <laughs> different uh, metals. Yeah, very nice spinner. And they all have that triangular shape. Although the this one has more of an outer corner here and more tapered off. So it does offer quite a bit of different uh, feel on that. And another similar one, well, not quite, but uh, you have the Damaste by Wusa here, but this is more of a tri spinner. And same goes with uh, this one right here. But on quiet hands, the Atrium. Yeah, this one is a lot bigger. But it does have the triangular shape, but this one is quite nice because it tapers off in the in between. So it's quite great uh, for the fingers to catch. They're quite nice. On this one though, you're more pulling onto the edge here. Yeah, it's just it's a really nice spinner. All right, so uh, let me take this out and uh, let's go over the converter top. All right, so uh, let's talk about the converter top. Now, when I first uh, heard about him making this, it does remind me of the Takrae State Bond uh, ring spinner top. Because uh, this one in particular, you have a 17 millimeter uh, ring spinner here. I think this is made in TI. And you have a top here. You got an O ring there. You just set it in. And that's a very interesting spinner and top combination. Yep. I didn't spin it that uh, much, but <laughs> you're gonna get the idea. Now for this one, it actually has a very long thread. And uh, actually, let me try this. So it does spin, even you have a uh, quite a bit of a gap there. But you got go ahead and just uh, keep uh, doing it, and there we go. I'm actually curious if you can just spin this. Yep, you can. All right, let's uh, go try with uh, Santa Steel here. Now he does provide it quite a bit of uh, spacers. There's one that is long enough, and I believe this one, when you put it on your spinner here on the R18 bearing, and I think I put it the wrong way. Ah, good enough. And those are just 3D printed. Now this becomes a spacer where when you put this on, it will just sandwich it in place. And I want to use the other one that uh, will freely uh, spin the bearing. And you gotta find one that it's a little uh, thinner. There we go on both sides. And it is 3D printed, so some cleaning might be required, but yeah, for the most part, they work. So you just gotta put the Thread it there, push it in, there we go, and uh, log it in place. Alright, so uh, let's get this thing. Alright, I think that's uh, good enough. Alright, so let's uh, first spin this. It does vibrate, uh, there is a bit of play, and uh, just gotta find the sweet spot for it. <laughs> so there is some play. But uh, as you can see, you can spin that. And let's hope this works. There we go. So I might have to work on the spacers, uh, make sure they're uh, level. But there is some play on the bearing. And uh, for those who have been uh, using spinners, know that 
uh, between the buttons and the uh, body there is a bit of play but it does work uh, which is quite nice I like it a lot yeah there you go and actually kind of wait it for a little bit now I want to try this with the uh, Proxima I'm gonna go ahead and uh, swap that yeah it's spins for uh, for a good uh, good amount of time it's also uh, when it slows down the body actually still spins so it's a uh, it's a uh, quite interesting Yeah, it's still going. All right, so uh, don't wanna <laughs> drag the video for too long. All right, so uh, let's go undo this one. Actually, it would be nice if there's some knurling on the ends there, or the edges of that. But given that it might have a contact on the side of the, or inside of the body, so it's probably good as it is right now. You should just let this here. All right, so put that on. Put this body. There we go. And put this here. There we go. So this is on Proxima. There you go. Works quite well. Although again, uh, I think the when I have the stem, <laughs> it does vibrate. So I'm, I still have to play around on getting it centered. But it works well. I like it. So I think that's pretty much it for the review for the Invader drone and converter top. Really great uh, products from MPF Design. And actually, uh, John has, also has other things in there. So check it out. I'll provide the links down below as well as the Facebook group. And yeah, I really like the Invader Drone. So until then, this is Meads. Thanks for watching.